Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I am going to show you how to link your Google domain to a GoDaddy hosted website. So I'm sitting here working with a client, just finished her website, which is beautiful. We get all excited going to GoDaddy to link her domain name to her new website. And guess what? We forgot. Her domain name is actually over in Google. If you encounter the same situation, the first thing you want to do is go to domains.google.com. Make sure that you are logged in to the Google account where your domains are hosted. Once you're on Google Domains page, click on transfer a domain you already own. Once you're in Google's domain panel, look over to the left, click on my domains. You will now see all the domains that you own over on the right side of your Google dashboard. To the right of the domain that you want to link to the website that's hosted on GoDaddy, click Manage. You should now be on the Domain Overview page. Over on the left, you will see DNS. Click on DNS. What we're going to do is head over to our GoDaddy account. Once on GoDaddy, you will want to click on your name in the upper right hand corner and then click on My Products. This will bring you to the All Products and Services page. As you can see, this client does not have any domain names in GoDaddy at all. However, she has purchased the Basic Manage WordPress hosting. To the right of the Basic Manage WordPress, go ahead and click on Manage. Click on settings. Scroll down until you see domains. Click on add to the right of domains. Click on new primary domain. Right now, as you can see, this site is being hosted on a temporary domain. To the right of domains, click on add, then new primary domain. Type or paste in the domain name and click add domain. As you can see, GoDaddy has created a new DNS record for us. What you want to do is go ahead and enter the record type, which is A in this case. You're going to put something in the name field, which GoDaddy has given us. You will need to also put the IP address that GoDaddy gives you. Once back on Google Domains, DNS page. As you can see, some of these fields look different than what you saw on GoDaddy. The type is the type as it says in GoDaddy. TTL is the same as it says in GoDaddy, but GoDaddy calls the data field value. So just remember that. I know that can be a little confusing. Google is actually going to ask you for a host name. The host name is actually the same as the domain name. So you really don't need to enter anything in there as long as you're on the page to manage that particular domain. Go ahead and type all the information that GoDaddy gave you into each of these fields. Then click on save to save the record. You'll get a message that the record has now been created. Once you're back on GoDaddy, you'll see that the domain name automatically became my primary domain and GoDaddy gives me a message that says you need to verify domain ownership to set up SSL. So log into the provider, meaning the domain provider, which is Google, create a text record with the following information, then come back here and recheck your SSL status. So let's head back over to Google Domains. Once back on the custom records page, you will see the A record that you just created. What you want to do is go ahead and click on create new record under the host name. We're going to create the text record that GoDaddy told us to create. So again, you're going to leave the host name blank, click on type, and this time we're going to scroll down to text txt -T. we're going to return to godaddy to get the number that they gave us to create the text record i'm going to highlight and copy that 
Head back over to Google Domains, click in the text field, and paste the number that GoDaddy gave you. Go ahead and click on Save. Once again, you'll get a message that says Custom Records are saved. And now you'll see that you have two custom records in Google. And hopefully, this is our last step. Let's go back over to GoDaddy to make sure that we followed all of the necessary steps. And as you can see, number four of the steps that we read earlier says recheck your SSL status. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Over on the right, you will see where your SSL certificate is. It says activating your SSL verifying domain ownership. Sometimes this takes a little while, but as you can see, it almost immediately says your free SSL certificate has been issued. So what I am assuming, because this is my first time connecting a Google domain to a GoDaddy hosted website, I'm assuming this means that we're good to go. I'm going to open up a new browser tab, put in the domain name, to see if the new website has been connected. As you can see, her beautiful new website has been connected and that was easier than I thought. As always, I wanna thank you for hanging in there with me. This is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you will receive notifications each time I post a new video. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.